hunters can finally rejoice knowing that they are able to have infinite restoration based builds. And it doesn't require a healing nade needing to be sacrificed in order to get it kickstarted. Of course, the only way to achieve this goal is with the new and improved Ember of Mercy, a fragment that has been bugged ever since the introduction to Fire Sprites, which has been over a year. Wild, if you ask me. For the longest time, every time you would pick up a Fire Sprite while having the Ember of Mercy equipped in your fragments, it would reset your restoration timer down to 3 seconds. And it wasn't exactly the end of the world, again you did have 3 seconds to follow up with a kill from any solar variation, but more times than most it will just result in you losing your restoration entirely. But now with this mid-season patch, Ember of Mercy is officially fixed. Not only does picking up a fire sprite not reduce you all the way down to 3 seconds of restoration, but it actually adds to your timer as well. But it doesn't entirely replace Ember of Empyrean, for there is an internal cooldown for when you are able to spawn a fire sprite. And since we are on the topic of Ember of Empyrean, Ember of Empyrean itself just got a straight up buff. For now, restoration caps out at 15 seconds instead of 12 seconds. It was a bit unneeded, Empyrean was goaded as is, but hey, why not, we'll just take it. Of course, with both of these in mind, we are only dealing with tier 1 restoration. I should have the value for health per second on screen for you right now. But with most content in Destiny 2, tier 1 restoration is just good enough. Going forward, it is officially just nice to know that picking up a fire sprite only benefits you in the end. Not only do you gain more restoration, but fire sprites have the intrinsic ability to grant you just a little bit of grenade energy each time you pick one up, which is just a nice bonus on top, really. But with that said, of course, we will be making a build around this fix. So I have all the stuff that you really need to know right here on screen for you right now. We'll get into the subclass part a little bit. Just let you copy paste, pause the video, whatnot. We're moving on right now. So starting off with the subclass for the super, I'm going to go Blade Barrage. And of course, this is optional. And we have a couple of options when it comes to the exotic we'll be using. I just thought for the mid game type deal, Shards of Galanor is just, you can't really go wrong with it at the moment. But again, we'll get into exotics in just a little bit. For right now, just a subclass. So for the super Blade Barrage, for the class ability will be Gambler's Dodge. This is mainly just to get my melee back. Of course, with uh, Shards of Galanor, uh, you are able to just get massive amounts of super in such a short time. But mainly because if you miss your melee, you need a back. So there you go, dodge. Triple jump, just because I'm a hunter. Healing nade, I just never take it off. I don't see any reason to need a nade. It doesn't really do anything other than scorch, but my melees do scorch. For the aspects on your mark, this one specifically only because it has three slots in. My god, we need more than just what we have. And for the other one, it will be knock them down, mainly because at the bottom here it says, while radiant final blows with your equipped throwing life will fully refund your melee energy. You can do Gunpowder's Gamble. It did get a buff as well, but with the exotic I chose, it's best to just always have my melee. For our first fragment, it will be the way we spawn our fire sprites. Personally, I'm doubling down on Ember of Searing just because I feel like with the playstyle that I chose, it's just the best one to go with. It just says defeating a scorched target grants melee energy, but the most important part is it will create a fire sprite. There is another one. If you don't care for ability gameplay and you just want brain dead, easy, you shoot your gun and it will spawn a fire sprite. Ember of Tempering is your guy. It says it right at the bottom here that your solar weapon final blows creates fire sprites. Now, of course, the reason why we are making this whole video is our next fragment, Ember of mercy by picking up a fire sprite you gain restoration it also gives you a bump in resilience and resilience is the meta currently I highly doubt it will never not be the meta at this point now ember of mercy isn't the end all be all i i think i didn't test this don't quote me on it but i think the fire sprite internal cooldown is 10 seconds long and you only got three seconds for restoration you're just gonna get kills with your solar weapon or your solar abilities and it will just stack that timer up again maxes out at 15 seconds pretty nice for the next one it will be ember of torches mainly because uh you want radiant as a 25 percent weapon damage bonus also affects your super and yeah there's really there's no reason not to have that one ember of beams you can switch this one out if you want like benevolence benevolence is pretty goaded as is right now but i chose beams specifically because i'm just going blade barrage there's an argument to be said that if you want to go celestial nighthawk instead of shards of galanor and you're just getting precision headshots hell 
Go Tempering, go Benevolence, go your Marksman, the Celestial Nighthawk, get Headshots. You'll get your super just as fast as a Shards of Galanor Hunter. So that's it for my subclass. Moving on, we are gonna go over the exotic armor choice. Now, I know with the subclass, I probably lost you guys. It was probably a little bit confusing because I was jumping between ideas of different exotics. The main one I chose is Shrides of Galanor. So that means spam melees, get radiance, your scorching targets, they're spawning fire sprites. So you're getting fire sprites, super, radiant, restoration, all of it. Okay, there's an argument to be made for Celestial Nighthawk. You'll just switch Searing out with Ember of Tempering. Just have a precision-based solar weapon. So Zali's Bane is pretty good. Whatever you call this weapon is pretty good. Sunshot is Sunshot. You can't go wrong with it. Has a 40% more damage to red bar enemies. And the main game of Destiny is at clear. Personally, I find hitting headshots with Sunshot is just a little bit more difficult than if I were to do it with Zali's or whatever this weapon is called. Integration. We'll just call it that there is also i know there's an ornament on it but this is caliban's hands there's an argument to be made for caliban's hand you'll need to switch your melee out for the explosive knife i found that if you were to go this route you probably don't even need the infinite restoration build at all for the room will just detonate as is i would go into making your ignitions splash damage just a bit more better there's fragments that will increase the size of the splash damage there are fragments that put scorch effect on the splash i would just go that direction if you're gonna go Caliban's hand. Now there's also another one and it's Assassin's Cow. Now the issue I have with running Assassin's Cow with this is that Assassin's Cow just heals you as is. You don't really need an infinite restoration based build if you're running Assassin's Cow because it heals you and after it heals you it turns you invisible. So I just feel like maybe you're doubling down too much on survivability at that point. I would go a little bit more on the offensive. A nice balanced build is genuinely just a better build. All right, now we are gonna go into the mods and upon making this build, I realized how power crept of the mods we are. Mods are so mid these days, it's crazy and we're gonna go into them. So for your headpiece, I don't see why you would ever change this layout ever. You could change this out if you're in like a solo area because obviously you're not going to be producing any heavy for your teammates because you'll be solo so at that point just go hands on double down on the gaining super with your shards of galanor and then just an orb spawner honestly because it's just you know it's an orb spawner need orbs orbs are the name of the game in this game going over to the arms yeah heavy-handed obviously you're gonna spawn orbs for you and then i just put a solar loader because kickstarts got so nerfed and in the end of the day you could just put on Ember of Benevolence and never need to worry about this, but your melee just regenerates itself. And if you miss your melee, you have a dodge. So yeah, those two, call it a day. Chest piece, I don't know why you would ever not run resist mods. Everything else here is mid. This, I know one use for this, and it's in very niche, super niche content, like one floor in Chimera. That's pretty much it. Matter of fact, it's only in that one floor Chimera because of an artifact mod that just consumes charges and you need more. Other than that, I don't even know why you would need it. For your legs, I have a bit of survivability. Of course, I feel like your legs, they switch night and day. When I go into raids, I have a running build and then I have a damage build. And for my running build, it's normally just this. I have survivability, get my grenade back because why the fuck not. Then stacks on stacks to produce special more frequently. Every orb counts as two orbs. And then when you're in a damage phase, you'll swap it over to just a triple surge. Done and done. Last piece, mine just looks like this permanently. Special finisher, obviously. Time dilation for when I swap to surges, they have more time for it. And then powerful attraction because I like the fact that I can dodge and just pick up all the orbs around me and I don't need to like hunt them down. And that really does it for the mods. Now for the weapons, I already went over them super briefly, but we got first up Sunshot. Sunshot is the end all be all best solar paired weapon you could have for an exotic. That's 40% more to red bar enemies. It's got amazing ad clear. The splash damage has scorch in there. So some fragments go with scorch, get your class ability back or just do more damage over time. Or, you know, scorch is enemies and I have searing spawn fire sprites. Now, if you have something else that takes up your exotic slot, I would just go Zali's. There is an argument to be made for 
integration. I don't know what to call that. Now, the reason I won't go for integration normally is because of its reload speed. Now, it does have stats for also if you hit three enemies, it pretty much boosts its reload speed to be right on par with Zali's Bane. Not all the time does that proc though, and I'd rather just have the consistency. I would honestly say that integration is more of just a PvP weapon based off its stats, its range, its stability. Handling is nice for both PvE and PvP, but reload speed is night and day difference when it comes to PvE content. I hate being stuck in a reload animation for a trillion years. So, Zally's it is for me. Of course, there are plenty of other solar weapons in Destiny, but these are just the ones that I chose. All hand cannons. You got Callus Mini Tool. Callus Mini Tool is not a bad option at all, and that's where I'll leave that. It's not a bad option. Now that does about do it for this build video. I hope I'm not too confusing enough. I'm trying to work on my coherency, but dude, I'm so scatterbrained. It's going to be a journey for me to get all my thoughts in line. Believe it or not, this video was scripted. <laughs> but to give you any closing thoughts, just know that in the end of the day, if you're in a raid team and you got at least three of them on solar and they're all spawning fire sprites, the floor would be littered with these things that you will never see the end of the restoration even if you tried. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, like and subscribe would be much appreciated. There's a Discord link in the description if you want to join. I'm trying to build a community out here. Also, I do want to get more into streaming. I'm not going to say that I'm going to do Destiny content 100% of the time. This is my main game, but since it's such a long season, we got to branch out. We got to do other stuff. That's it. Bye.